the calling you're hearing are the males, they're calling to females. And there's actually three different species of cicada. So you're you're hearing some different calls. It probably sounds like all one sound <laughs> when they're in that chorus, but there's three different distinct calls. They're calling to females who are in response, clicking their wings to call the males in. Uh, they'll then mate and we'll be seeing that more frequently as the cicadas, um, their emergence peaks um, and through the end of June into July. Once they mate, the females will then lay their eggs into tree branches, uh, so twigs about the size of a pencil. They'll cut into the, the twig with what's called an ovipositor, what they use to lay eggs. Um, they'll lay eggs in clutches of 20 to 30 and up to 600 eggs per female. And then about six weeks from the time they're laid, six to 10 weeks, they'll hatch and they'll be little tiny white nymphs that pop out. Um, and they'll kind of rain down from the tops of the trees down into the, the floor and the ground. They'll burrow in and start feeding on roots. I know they've been around for a couple of weeks now. How long can we expect them and when is their peak? A lot of what you're going to see is dependent on where you are. So um, the closer you are to D.C., likely the warmer it is, the more urban areas that you're in. You saw them a little earlier. You're probably starting to reach you know, kind of the beginning, middle of the peak now, uh, kind of the cooler areas are going to start seeing their peaks starting about now and over the next few weeks. So we'll see cicadas until probably late June, early July, um, with the peak being over the next few weeks, kind of dependent upon where you are um, and, and, you know, the temperatures that you're experiencing. Got it. Now, I know uh, throughout the process, they shed um, I guess they're skeletons, if you could say, uh, is it exoskeletons? Uh, what are residents uh, recommended to do with those? So they just leave them where they are? Or how, how can they handle that? Sure, yeah. Um, the exoskeletons, uh, like you said, they're the, the nymphal exoskeleton. They're shedding that. It's also called an exuvium um, after they've shed it. And the or exuvia. And they can be left where they are, or they can actually be mixed into compost. Um, as well, if, if you're composting, um, or just tilled back into the soil and provide nutrients for, for the soil. 